Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see them. I see them down there. Come with me. Come with me. I'm about to show you all here. We're about to catch one of the easiest species ever for our 2023 species marathon. I put my hook here in the water with the bait. Look at that. Look at that. Oh boy. Did you see that? Did you see how easy this was? Gonna put it back here in the photo tank. This right here, my friends, is a nuisance species, even for fellow live listers, because these little fellas, they are just everywhere. Look at that. It's species number 16 for 2023 in comparison to my hand, right? Look at its size in comparison to my hand, the eastern mosquito fish, the Gambusia holbrooki, right? There are so many of them around. They are so aggressive. Look at the Tanago in its mouth that even live listers, they are usually like, man, we don't really want to catch them, right? And by the way, if you were wondering why this is 16 and not 15, that's because yesterday when I arrived here down in Florida, after I checked into my hotel, right around sunset, I actually called a yellow belly cichlid, okay? The three chromis salvini, which was actually number 15 for this year. But anyways, right? People may not like the Easter mosquito fish, but let me tell you all something unbeknownst to everyone watching this YouTube video right now. This little fella right here is going to open up a whole chain of events for us today that is going to lead to a lot of different species of fish here from the Florida canals. Yeah, you probably don't believe what I'm talking about, right? One little insignificant eastern mosquito fish. You don't need to believe me. All you need to do is continue watching this YouTube video. Let's do it. All right, the last thing that I need right now is just a little tungsten weight. Yeah, like this size right over here, I think is going to do it. I'm just going to use a Naco tungsten weight for it. Cheapest one in the market when it comes to tungsten out there. This is a non-sponsor non video, okay? Just going to put it up here on my setup real quick. And we're gonna get the species is lame. Look at that. Boom, that's it. Little dropper loop rig, okay? With a size 22 hook that you can barely see here at my finger. Little mustad, right? Let me tell you something about Florida canals, okay? Everything down here loves eating this little mosquito fish, okay? They live for this little mosquito fish so i caught nine of them i got eight live in the tank right now look at that boom and i got one that i use for cut bait that's right i'm going to start with the cut bait on the size 22 hook we're going to find some rocks along the canal and just watch all the different species for the 2023 marathon they're gonna start showing up all right Punch it right next to the rocks. Gently, gently. Don't need to be too aggressive. Right next to these rocks. These are the type of rocks that we're looking for here in Florida. Usually there are some tinier species of fish right next to rocks like these. Oh, got it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. From under the rock came... Wait a moment, you've, no, you've got to be kidding me. I thought it was going to be some kind of, uh, of cichlid, you know, invasive. But no, I mean, don't take me wrong. This is a new species for 2023. But could it really be? Let me put this in the photo tank and we shall confirm. Man, you really can't make that up. I really thought at the beginning, you know, it can be, right? I was like, this is sure to be a, a, a cichlid of some sorts. But no, the more I look at it, the more I am convinced 
that this right here is a little Lepomis gulosus, aka the war mouth, which is actually a native species to this area. And believe it or not, I fished this canal for years, okay? G15 canal, North New River canal. Every time I come down here to Florida, I hit it at least once. Never ever, I believe, I've pulled a native war mouth out of this place. And then the one day that I bait some Easter mosquito fish, right? Look, it's not about the sizes. It is the fact that in this canal, right, with so many invasive species of fish, you can still find some tiny natives, <laughs> which blows my mind. But anyways, new species for 2023 the plan is working huh i ain't releasing this war mouth you all know by the end of the day we're gonna live line the sucker too for whatever's be <laughs> whatever's be okay 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 all right all right we will release the war mouth okay native species release the war mouth all right here here little fella go 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 before I changed my mind, okay? Don't worry, we're going to eventually catch some cichlids today too that are invasive to this area. So when we catch those cichlids, oh heck yeah, we're going to live line the heck out of it. We caught one war mouth on this side of the rocks, which uh, does look good, but nothing else came out of it. You know what? We gotta come to this side over here and try this side of the rocks now oh yeah in particular this one's right over here you see right around this area right here there's like these cracks right that could have the cichlids that i'm actually looking for so all right selective harvest right selective harvest release the native take the invasives we're gonna punch rocks over here for a little while to see if there are any of those cichlids around here oh yeah oh yeah Woo! down there boy down there yeah you want to mess with extreme fillet fishing i don't think so look at that huh now this right here is what i'm talking about invasive to the state of florida it is the jewel cichlid huh emicromis Letorneuxi. Well, at least according to the government agencies down here, you know, the Letorneuxi. Beautiful red right there with a few blue specks. You guys gotta get a better view of it after I take some shots. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Woo! Never thought I was going to say this, boy, but these rocks are good. <laughs> Secret. Oh, my man look at how beautiful this one is huh that's the one that we caught yesterday but the colors on this one are much more stunning the yellow belly cichlid aka salvini cichlid aka <laughs> trichromis salvini which by the way is invasive down here in florida too so yeah i'm going to take a few photos of this guy but i think we're about ready to enter the next stage here the next stage in the chain of events on this youtube video right which is we're going to take all of this tiny fish okay that we caught here at the canal just give you guys one last view of this guy right here Ooh, oh no for real you know that's a good one right there yeah we're gonna take all of these guys right here i'm gonna change the water real quick and we are going to live line it oh ho, 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 ho. we ready ladies and gentlemen we are ready mm -hmm. now let me tell you all something okay when it comes to live lining down here in the florida canals right for those who have never come here before and uh, maybe one day you're all going to come here and fish the fish down here don't play when it comes to live bait okay you never ever know what you are going to land down here with a live shiner or a live cichlid if you watch some of the previous videos on this youtube channel you know exactly what i'm talking about 
could be something tiny, could be, could be something gigantic. So extreme fully fishing, I don't play either when it comes to the setup for live line. Yeah, I got 30 pounds, okay? Fluorocarbon right over here. Make sure that the fish don't see this part of the line with a circle hook. We're going to lie. I'm not going to show it in this video because you know, YouTube, we're going to put this rear right at the back of the fish and just drop it down there. Come on, fish. Come on. Do I have to do like a Hadouken or something like that, right? Come on, man. You can't make this up. It is. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to show you all. Just so you tell me, okay? Just so you all know that we, we've tried 5.22 p.m. The last clip you all saw in this video, I knew things were going too well, you know? It was 12.30 p.m. It's been five hours. We've been out here five hours. It's switching from culvert to culvert to culvert to pipe to pipe to pipe. And let me tell you all something, okay? First and foremost, we did add four speed. <laughs> We did add, that, that's eight right there. We did add four species to the 2023 species marathon. But like I said, things were going too well. We started with one species, the Eastern mosquito fish. And then the chain of events came. We came with three more on the Eastern mosquito fish, right? And if the plan had worked well, we were supposed to come another chain right there with three more on the species that we caught on the mosquito fish right but as you all can see the plan doesn't always go well right and the thing is i saw plenty of fish at this canal today so the problem wasn't even finding the fish we saw i mean we saw i saw a bunch of peacock cichlids the butterfly peacock bass some bullseye a snakehead largemouth black bass mexican mojara right mayan cichlid and the thing is they are all so finicky i kid you all not i'm using the ultralight three pounds test line over here with just one circle hook okay my jewel look look at the size i had to downsize look at the size of the jewel cichlid that I'm using now, you know, I had to downsize my bait, man, because I'm telling you, whole afternoon, the fish were coming, and they were checking the bait, they would swim right, look, dude, 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 if this was my bait right there, okay, they would swim like that, close to the bait, they would stop right there, check it out, look for about 30 seconds, and just, whoo, <laughs> just like that, you can't make that up, I switched to the ultralight, light line single hook i just had a bullseye snake head like i saw the snake head and the snake head saw me came to check the hook like that my little jewel cichlid was swimming near perfection it just chased around it circled it twice and left you can't make that up so yeah we're finishing up here today i mean at least we had a four could have been much much better right but some days you win some days you lose right i'll tell you this though man before we leave florida this time we gotta put we gotta get some revenge on this fish man they think they can make a fool out of extreme filling fishing watch me go to the tackle shop and get some of those golden shiners you feel me all right i'll see you all next time i'm exhausted <laughs> i'll see you all next time thanks for watching tie lines and take it easy